All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Happy holidays. Thank you for tuning in, uh, especially you subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the tribe, right? All right. So thank you for joining the Note Taker family. And today we want to add to our endocrine playlist, by the way. If you haven't figured it out yet and you pull up some of my video, some of you are making it to the home page. So easy way to the home page, the easiest way, is when you type in RN Cliff Notes under YouTube, click on my avatar face right here, and my little guy here, he's gonna take you to the home page, right? He functions like a hyperlink. Click on that, it'll take you to the home page, right? And you'll see uh, all the videos there, but even if you don't see all the videos, click on video and you'll see the entire library that's available so far at this point uh, approximately 45 videos so if you've just been seeing a couple videos that's probably why click on his face and let him take you to the library now uh, in order to see it by subject by content click on playlist you click on playlist under the subtitles and it's going to bring up a lot of different little playlists talking about blood cardiac nursing, neurological science, cardiac, right, immunity, which we're building that up. So there's a lot of little playlists to work from. So you click on that and all those videos are grouped together, okay? All right. So anyway, we're adding to our endocrine playlist. And today we want to talk about the insulin time chart. Yeah, a little bit intimidating, that thing, as we'll show you in just a minute. But we want to figure out a way to learn the onset, peak, and duration for the three main types of insulin being rapid, regular, and intermediate acting insulin, okay? All right, thank you for tuning in again. And what are we doing? At RN Cliff Notes, we are helping students, and those students might be professionals, right? We welcome you as well, all right? We're helping you all to be able to see through larger concepts. And sometimes there are these other, these other concepts that we want to learn, but uh, we haven't quite got the secret sauce, right? And that's what you're here for, the secret sauce, okay? So anyway, uh, there is our chart, right? In the first glance, like, oh, man, right? <laughs> got, got a lot of names over there, right? Oh, boy, minutes and hours and peak and duration, oh boy, right? <laughs> you know, but there is a method to the madness, right? Okay, so we'll give you that secret in just a minute, but you know how we like to do. Have a few uh, quiz questions thrown in there, right? Try to give you a heads up. So your number in your paper or your phone from one to three, right? Uh, maybe I better stop saying quiz. As soon as you say quiz, people start to freak out like, quiz? What? Right? <laughs> Take it easy. It's okay. okay. Yeah. So one through three. And number one, what is the name of intermediate acting insulin? And you should write down or type in NPH, of course, right? N, intermediate. Yes. Easy breezy. Now, number two. Which of the following insulin types are rapid acting? So you have A, Novolin R, B, Novolog, C, Novolin N. So again, that was A, Novolin R, B, Novolog, C, Novolin N. And you should have picked, right? Of course, Novolog. Don't be thrown off by the R because that's for regular insulin. All right, number three. What is the peak onset time range of NPH insulin? The classic test question, right? In nursing school or medical school or PCT class, right? So NPH insulin, uh, the other places you'll see that potentially exit test and NCLEX, why? They assume that as students, likely in clinical and things like that, you're pretty familiar with rapid acting and regular NPH seems to be the one that kind of throws people off, right? So, what's that range? Four to eight hours. Four to eight hours. We're going to get in that in just a minute. So, 
back to our handy dandy chart, which there it is, bang, right? <laughs> so we're looking at it and we want to keep this in mind right here. That says onset, by the way. You might not be able to see that in YouTube land. So it's red and it's got black letters for onset. We'll switch, we'll switch the color here in a minute. It'll, it'll show up much better. But remember that 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes, that's what qualifies it as rapid acting to quickly lower our patient's blood glucose level. All right? Damn. So here's the key right here. You want to learn about insulin in syllables. Insulin in syllables. What do I mean? I mean, well, you know what? Let me just throw it out there before we look at it, right? Sometimes you pull the chart up in people's mind, poof, it's like, oh, it's too much. Let me just explain it. In syllables. Remember, we're talking about onset, what, two syllables. That's going to become important here in a minute. Then we're going to talk about the peak, one syllable. And then duration, what, three syllables. Ah, onset two, peak one, duration three. So let's get a look at that chart. So on this chart, what I did is I added the number of syllables over the top of each one. So, right, onset, what, double. Peak, single, and for duration, triple. Okay, we know that our starting point for rapid, as we discussed, is 15 minutes or less. So let's go there. And we said, what, onset? So in this one, that helps us to remember that we're going to be doubling our numbers along the way, right? So we're starting with 15. 15 and we double it, right? 15 times two would be what? 30. So we use that 15 and multiply it by two to give us the starting range of regular insulin in the chart, which is 30 minutes, all right? But then now, right, we're doubling here. When we get in these when we get into the type of insulin, we double in that box. So 30 times 2 is 60 minutes. Right. So regular insulin's range is from 30 to 60 minutes. Now, 60 minutes is the equivalent of one hour. One hour. And we double it, right? One times two would be two hours. So two hours is the starting point of NPH insulin, the intermediate acting. Two hours. And we take those two hours, remember when we're dealing with the same type, and we're going to double that two and make it four. So the onset range of NPH insulin is two to four hours. Right? And how did we decipher that entire column? by working first from the number of syllables in the word that led the column, onset, right? All right, so that was the red column. Now, let's move on to peak, all right? So first off, we get that tip from peak that, you know, all right, how do we start? What number do we start with? Peak, what, how many syllables? One. So we start at one, hour okay and in this case peak is a little bit different right because peak like a peak of a mountain it's one important piece at the very top or in the middle right so in this case peak we're dealing with one continuous number line okay but now within each type we're going to double so just flow with it. So, peak, we started with one, yes? Now, we're talking about rapid insulin. So in this type, we're doubling it. One times two is two. So the range for rapid insulin is from one to two hours. Then we said, right, this is one continuous number line. So we're gonna take that two and pick up from there. 
with the next type. So regular insulin starts with two, right? And within this type, we're going to double it. So two to four is the range, the peak range for regular insulin, two to four. Back to our rule, one, so the one, one continuous number line, right? We left off at four, and since it's one continuous number line, we're gonna pick up at four for the beginning of NPH. And then within that type, what? Double it. So four times two is eight. Right, good. So, so far we see that we can use the syllables to help us decipher this chart. I know, it feels like a lot. But it's coming, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, then we move to duration, which is three syllables. Duration, right? So triple. So what number do we start with? Three. And we're going to take that number three, and we're going to double it, which will give us six. So rapid insulin ranges from our starting point, duration, three hours, and doubled it to six. Three to six hours is the duration of action of rapid insulin, okay? Now, similar to peak, it has a continuous number line, so to speak there, because we take that six, and that's our takeoff point for the next type of insulin, which is regular. Now. Unfortunately, at this point in the chart, it does not adhere to the rules anymore. <laughs> ah, darn, right? Uh, it would have been so great if that was like 6 to 12, but no, you know, <laughs> unfortunately. And for the moment, we're just, you know, kind of excluded them here. Yeah. So 6 to 10, that is the difference, okay? But then... Using our one continuous number line, right, type of thinking. And we bring that 10 down, right? And that's where NPH picks up for the duration. So regular insulin range for uh, duration, 6 to 10 hours. But then we take that 10 down to start off our NPH. And that one is 10 to 18. Okay. So in doing that, we did skip over the Humulin R, our regular uh, U500, which is up to 24 hours. So we got some we got some difference here in the chart when we get to this point. But you can see how you can decipher this, and the idea is this: if you're taking the NCLEX, you're taking some exam, and you don't want to be beat up on insulin. You know, it's like you can't. You can't think of what it is. I mean, think of the stress, right? You're taking an important test. Panic, you know. You got maybe you got a little board you could write on or a piece of paper that they allow you to write things down on. But with that, armed with this information, you can still answer those questions correctly, right? Every point counts. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing and liking, and thank you for your comments. Right? So, the good and the bad. We appreciate it. All right, guys. Keep studying smart, right? Awesome.